Hi YouTubers, um, this is Indigo Lady again. Sorry for the dark video. I am working while I upload these tidbits of information. I hope they will help someone. So excuse like all of the keystrokes and um, the dark screen. It looks like it's crazy. It's not. I'll show you I have it on top of my laptop while I try to do work but um so this is a different video um I work in uh, the financial industry and I just want to help people if I can at all um given the situation from the past two years with um with like people being able to keep a job and um, deciding whether or not to get vaccinated, if it's gonna be the most beneficial for them. We have a lot of things that are kind of being thrown at us kind of all at one time. And um, if I can help someone, I will try my very best to do so. Uh, these are just general kind of little nuggets that may help someone uh, financially as it pertains to if you own a vehicle. I don't know if this is across the board. I just know what I've experienced. And so hopefully it will help someone to be able to get to a better place financially or maybe possibly help you out of a situation you could currently be in. So. If you own a vehicle right now, um, regardless of the year of the vehicle, try to get the balance under $2,500. Even if you get it to like $2,500.50 or 89 cents or 99 cents or 69 cents, whatever, just try to get the balance to $2,500 or less. It may possibly help you to be able to keep the vehicle um, so that you can get to a place where you can start making consistent payments on the vehicle. Uh, the goal is to try to keep your vehicle from being repossessed. That is the goal. Um, and if you are in a situation where money is super, super tight, I understand, I have been there. Um, Try to pay something on the vehicle every month. And I know this sounds crazy and it's like, who am I to try to give someone advice? Just trust me, I've been there. Even if you can only pay $10 towards your car payment. I know this sounds crazy and insane. Just try to make sure that something is being paid on your vehicle every month. I'm not going to say this is going to work in all situations, but it's going to show whoever you have financed the vehicle with that you are trying to do something, that you are attempting to make some kind of payment. I'm not going to say it's going to stop collection calls or anything like that, but it is still showing whoever you have financed the vehicle with, depending on the company, because it could be very varied across all the industry but it still is it's, it's significant i'm just gonna put it like that so try to pay something every month something ten dollars twenty five dollars a hundred dollars something if the balance of your vehicle is above twenty five hundred dollars and you have the wherewithal to get the 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 um amount due on the vehicle to twenty five hundred dollars or less please do so do not let three months go by without paying something on the vehicle. As a matter of fact, you at least wanna to try to make a payment on the vehicle at least every 60 days, because that could potentially keep you from having your vehicle repossessed. These are just things that I have learned. I'm not saying they're gonna work across the board. By all means, I'm putting this disclaimer out there, but these are some things that could potentially help you to keep your vehicle and keep it from getting repossessed. I cannot guarantee that it will stop 
um, collection calls or anything like that. But these three things, try to get the balance of the vehicle to less than $2,500. Try to make a payment every month. I trust me, it will help you. Um, if you have the wherewithal to make payments on the vehicle and you can't make your payment on the actual day that the payment is due, remember, you still have 29 days. We're going to say 29 days. We'll, we'll even say 25 days just to be on the safe side to make the payment on the vehicle so that it doesn't report late to the credit bureau. I know this is like a whole lot of information intertwined, but I just want to help someone if I can because these are things that I've been through myself. So less than $2,500, try to make a payment, anything, every month at least, every month. If you can't, remember you have 25 days before the next payment is due to make the payment before it reports late to the credit bureau. Um, try to make a payment within 60 days so that your vehicle is not put out for repossession. I promise you these things will help you. Um, also, if you have had your vehicle for a year and you've been able to make payments for a year, try to call to see if you can, one, have your vehicle refinanced if you're having trouble making the payments, two, ask the company if they will do a rewrite because some companies offer that. Um, you can also, there's the third option of being able to push your note back uh, possibly one month, two months, or three months. It just depends on the company and the circumstances. So those are options as well. Um, there's so many different things that you can do to try to keep your vehicle. Um, I've also learned just from watching other YouTube videos, if your vehicle, uh, if you don't owe a substantial amount, like if you're not upside down, which means that you owe more on the vehicle than it's worth. Or maybe you do, let's say for instance, that you owe 14, but um, your vehicle is only worth 12. If you're in a situation where you can potentially sell the vehicle to Carvana or CarMax, or um, there's some other companies out there that are um, purchasing vehicles from people. Um, if you have like $2,000 in savings that you can possibly spare and you can put towards the cost of the vehicle and it, and you can sell it and take that check and then the additional monies that you have saved, that's another way to kind of get yourself out of a situation if you are just in a bind and you're like, I'm not going to be able to keep making payments on this car. That's another situation. I know this is a lot of information. If you have to play the video back, play it back. I just want to try to help as many people as I can in any way that I can from all of the knowledge that I have consumed and gained throughout the years. I know it can help somebody and from the experiences that myself uh, included, I have had. So that's what I have for this today. I know I went over. I try to keep these little tidbits of information to five minutes because if you're like me, my attention span is like 10 minutes. And I know that's ridiculous for my age, but it is what it is. But hopefully this will help someone. Thank you for listening to me.